So it's Mike O'Neill here with Magic Brad, and Brad, I want to know how and when the Event Expo, the Minnesota Event Planners Expo, got started. It got started back in about 1991. It actually, there was another show in 1986 that I was involved with, but in 1991 I took it over, and the reason I took it over was as Magic Brad, as a magician, I did it so I could get these leads of all these event planners to come to me instead of me chasing them. So I created the Event Planner Expo. We did it at International Market Square, so it started in about 1991. Beautiful. Wow. So, so who exhibits at this event? I can imagine there being a, quite a variety of people that are interesting folks. It is. Well, uh, the event industry is pretty wide. It's a wide vertical, so to speak. So the people that have, have exhibit in the event are anything you need for planning an event, whether it be a caterer, florists, limousine services, power generators, lighting, staging, face painters, magicians, characters, jugglers, casinos, hotels, bands, incentives, Hope. bands, concert promoters, anything that's involved with an event, tent rental, um, wow. <laughs> chairs, tables. I said it would be fun, didn't I? Linens. Hey, hey, so, so, so who attends this sort of event? What kind of um, folks? People that plan events. Now, events is, an, is a wide category. I mean, even a funeral is an event, but we won't have those people there. <laughs> uh, corporate event planners, you know, your Target, Cargill, Medtronic, 3M, and then your association conventions, people that produce uh, conferences and conventions and seminars and workshops, and then your city celebrations, fairs, festivals, art fairs, carnivals. Um, then there's the good old wedding market that's pretty big, and then there's... Uh, People that do like fundraisers and galas and nonprofit type functions, and then private parties, weddings, parties. Well, Brad, you're a really resourceful guy. You really are, man. I mean it. I love you, bro. Uh, and uh, you promote things in all kinds of ways. How do you promote this sort of event with that sort of an audience? Well, you know, as most people do, it's changed since the internet came along. It used to be where you do broadcasting, trying to reach a lot of people. Now it's narrow casting. How do we find these? these people in like a 50 or 100 mile radius of the Twin Cities instead of Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. So using social media, the, the ad targeting and things on Facebook, we use that. And we still use the direct mail postcards that send directly to the people as an invitation. And there's the SEO and you know about LinkedIn and all that kind of stuff. Sure. That's how you find these people. And uh, the social media thing, the whole social sharing concept that if someone's in the wedding industry and they've got some friends that are florists, they can invite those people. So it keeps people in, the, in that profession of the wedding the events you know, industry. You, you described a lot of folks that will actually be exhibiting at the show as well as people attending at the show. I, I, I just totally see people <laughs> having lunch together and stuff. Or exhibiting, no, I'm attending, and, and so on and mm -hmm. on. Well, how do people find out more about the event? Um, well, it's got a website, duh, <laughs> and that's minnesotaeventexpo.com. So that's the easiest way to do it. And just, or, or if you want, you can just Google Magic Brad and you can find me. <laughs> a date and time and expo place. Um, this specific one, it's always been the first week in March. And uh, this specific one is March 5th, and that's a Tuesday. So March 5th, 2019, Tuesday at Earl Brown Heritage Center in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. Wow, so it's uh, Mike O'Neill and Magic Brad will be at the event. I'm keynoting at it. and. Brad's running the show. I hope to see you there. Peace.